Think about green being the leaves and brown and taupe being tree bark. The color code is CC-550 or $14.95 if you're nasty. These are the color codes we're going to crack today. Give that like button a big old bop and let's get into it. So yeah, October Mist not only has two different color codes that mean the exact same thing, but it was also announced as the Benjamin Moore Color of the Year for 2022. This means that the company feels that interior design is moving towards a world that involves these sorts of colors, AKA Greenage. If you don't know me, I'm James, and this is The Paint People, where we talk about all things painting and decorating, and I've been preaching these warmer neutral greens for a while now, and it seems like the big dogs are finally listening. Now, I'm sure it wasn't my doing, but there's a real reason why we're seeing a color like green make a bit of a comeback. We've been dealing with gray for so, so long. Eventually, you're going to crave a change, and green is such a natural progression because you still can have those gray elements present, but with a prominent color hue supporting it. Why green? Well, it's uplifting, it's soothing, and it's restorative as a color. October Mist specifically is kind of perfect because it was announced in the month of October and its description on the Benjamin Moore website is evocative of the stem of a flower. This gently shaded sage anchors and uplifts. Oh, and it also has the LRV right above that at 46.33. So basically it's a mid-tone color. And I know I mentioned it in that color of the year announcement video we did, but I absolutely love the concept of this being a flower stem in your design, or basically a bit of a baseline to your hand-picked flower colors, which can be in the form of all kinds of different color hues and botanicals that you can draw inspiration from. Basically, October Mist just seems to be an alternative to our old friend Grey in the sense that it's not really going to offend anyone because it has enough saturation to be felt, but it's not overpowering in the slightest. So what I wanna do, like every episode of Color Code really, is give you a couple of color pairing options. I'll have a light, a medium and a dark color for you, as well as a lighter trim color choice that works really, really nicely with October Mist. And before I forget, before I start listing out colors for you willy-nilly, and before you go and potentially buy some of these colors, always be sure to test your colors out before you commit to them. I can't stress that enough. And using a Mighty Board is one of the best ways to do that. So link below if you need more information. You'll thank me later. They're a great product. So I picked out some colors here that I find go really, really well with October Mist, but I also want to remind you that Benjamin Moore just released their 2022 Color Trends palette, and all of those colors were actually hand-picked to go with each other, including October Mist, but I've decided to opt for alternative options for you as well. So starting with the light color choice, we're going with Iced Cube Silver 2121-50, and it goes a little bit against the grain, to be honest, whereas it's quite clearly a cool color with its blue-gray undertone, but that's a large part why I chose it. It was just for something different, a little fresh pop, to stand against a slightly more warmer neutral in October mist. There were so many warm colors that were chosen by Benjamin Moore for a good reason. I'm a huge fan of warm colors, but I just wanted to show you that you could also just as well pick something cooler and it'll maybe add some visual intrigue and a little more depth to your design. For the mid-tone color, I opted for something that brings even more warmth, no pun intended, Warm and Toasty CSP 915. It's quite a bit visually saturated as a color with its warm and sunny coloration. I find it's easy to incorporate a lot of those earthier colors with October Mist that have either maybe a bit of green or brown or both, or even taupe or gray coloration. But Warm and Toasty isn't all that earthy. It's quite literally the opposite. It lives in the sky. It kind of represents the sun visually to me. And it can be a really vibrant, uplifting color to break some potential monotony in your design. I've always been a fan of these sunny, slightly buttery, kind of orange undertone yellow colors in the parts of the home that you need that extra bit of zest, like perhaps a kitchen or a creative workspace. I will admit, it can be visually tiring after a while if you're there for a long period of time, so probably not a great family room color where you wanna wind down and relax. <laughs> but I just love these types of yellows because they're really fun, but also 
pretty timeless and can be great exterior colors as well. Although not this one because CSP colors can't be made in exterior paint. Awkward. <laughs> For my dark color, I went with Woodcliff Lake, which essentially is just a bit of a darker taupe color that will help keep things nice and grounded. Taupe is really one of those handy dandy color types to use, especially as a darker accent color because it'll work really nicely with nearly anything that green does. Think about green being the leaves and brown and taupe being tree bark. It just works. It actually has some similarities to Gloucester Sage, which was one of the selected colors for 2022, although it loses a lot of the green undertone in that one and just goes more in a shaded brown coloration instead. For a white trim color to go alongside October Mist, I'm just gonna go and snag the off-white that Benjamin Moore picked, honestly. <laughs> I think it's a beautiful trim color to go alongside October Mist and it's called Steam. And it's because it brings forth that little bit of cozy uplifting warmth that you need and it's undertone, yet it won't feel too yellowy like a Swiss coffee color might. If you're incorporating October Mist with some cooler colors, however, it might be worth considering a more clean, neutral, or even stark white, like a super white or even Oxford white instead. Thank you all for subscribing to the channel, and up next, I'll have the color of the year announcement video, as well as the rest of the Benjamin Moore 2022 color trends palette that you can check out after this one. Oh, 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 oh,